Xavier Kosuka Weir, a former ZANU-PF commissar and independent presidential candidate for the August 23rd election, has vowed to oppose President Emerson Unimkogwa to the end, claiming he is willing to give his life to do so. In an exclusive interview with The Standard on Friday, Kosuka Weir said he was aware of the threats to his life and that he was staying abroad to overcome certain antics. He claimed that Unimkogwa had changed the rules in the middle of the battle because he sensed defeat. At this time, he declared, I don't fear for my life anymore. I fear for the future if we don't stand up and fight, and I fear for the people of Zimbabwe. These life-threatening threats won't stop me from speaking out. And our supporters are being bullied. We have been advising the people to select their candidates in accordance with their wishes because ZANU PF is unable to determine who has voted where because it is a secret ballot. The spokesperson said. The message is clear, on August 23rd, citizens in all of Zimbabwe will make a choice. I can promise you that people have moved past the point of intimidation and now know what they want despite their threats to force them to attend their rallies. Following a request from a ZANU-PF proxy, Lovedale Mengwana, High Court Judge Justice David Mengota recently declared Kasukawe's candidacy invalid. Mengwana claimed that the electoral laws prohibited a candidate from running for president if they had been abroad for more than 18 months. Kasukawe has filed an appeal with the Supreme Court against the ruling. Also, the government has taken steps to outlaw the Kosukawe campaign team's use of campaign billboards and has directed advertising firms to first obtain permission. Last week, the Kosukawe campaign team erected sizable billboards along Robert Mugabe Drive, Simon Mazerod's Road, and another in Mutia at the bus terminal. The feds were Muguti. The Secretary for Provincial Affairs and Devolution for the Harare Metropolitan Government branded the unauthorized placement of billboards as corrupt, and he said those responsible were under investigation. The plan to outlaw billboards, said to Kosukawe, was evidence that Umlingogwa had lost the game. In response to the discriminatory laws and policies that Umlingogwa is enacting, we are engaging the area, the Southern African Development Community SADC, Kosukawe stated. These shenanigans and pointless attempts by the government to modify the legislation during the game do not deter us. Changing the regulations in the middle of a game is a sign that the player has conceded defeat. The role of an engineer is to fix roads, not to read signs on billboards. The censoring board is responsible for the messages that are displayed on billboards. In addition to Umnen Gogwa, Kasukawe claimed he had no animosity against any other presidential contenders like Zimbabwe Nelson Chamisa, the CCC's leader. I don't have anything against anyone. He said. Emerson is the one who is in charge and is ruining our nation. I cannot criticize or address issues to someone who is not in authority. It will be an energy misallocation. Our goal is to make the country a better place to live. Umning Gogwa is the person we need to hold responsible for the disarray, turmoil, suffering, starvation, inflation, corruption, and violence. One of the 12 presidential candidates running in the second round of voting following the 2017 military coup that deposed the late President Mugabe is Kosukowe, a former cabinet minister. He fled to exile in the neighboring country of South Africa after being targeted by the military along with other Mugabe supporting ZANU PF ministries and officials. Kosukowe has unresolved criminal cases, according to ZANU PF and the police, and will likely be arrested upon his return. The former minister for local government traveled short back to Zimbabwe, where he was charged with a crime but found not guilty. He was accused of giving land to the sister of former First Lady Grace Mugabe, among other offenses. Umning Gogwa is running for re-election to serve out his final term.